Hoffman this morning. It's being called a major scientific breakthrough. Researchers at the Scripps Institute say they created the first microbes containing artificial DNA, and it could alter our basic genetic code, the fundamental building blocks of life. It may also lead to new drugs and treatments. Our Dr. David Agus is in Los Angeles. He is a professor of medicine and engineering at the University of Southern California. Doctor, good morning. Good morning, Charlie. So what did they do and what did they accomplish? So throughout history, there have been four building blocks in DNA in every organism on Earth. That's humans, that's mice, that's bacteria. And for the first time, they made two new letters. So four letters to six letters to actually make DNA. And so it changes our code. It changes everything that's possible. You know, there are 20 amino acids in nature made up by these letters. Now we can go to potentially 150 or 170. So the potentials are limitless. Science is at a new point where things are going to take off. And what about, doctor, this man-made DNA? What could it mean for treating disease? Well, all of a sudden, we can make organisms that can actually make new proteins. So, for example, several years ago, it cost $10,000 to make malaria treatment for a year. Well, if you engineer bacteria to have the enzymes to make that drug, it now costs $10. Mm. And so when we now have these new codes, we could start to make lots of new drugs, vaccines. And it really opens a new window for how we treat disease, diagnose disease, and eventually prevent disease. And what, go ahead. What risk are they, both ethically and, and also potentially new grounds that we have not explored yet? In 1953, when the, 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 the double helix of DNA came out, everybody was afraid that we would misuse DNA. Well, then came insulin, and we made insulin from DNA, and we actually radically improved human life. The hope is the same happens here. But with the God particle happening early last year, this is the God complex. And I'm certainly worried that we need to establish boundaries. All right, Dr. David Agus, good to see you. Thank you so much.